Hello everybody, Jack here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix your RuneLite GPU plugin. As you can see, if I go down and I try to enable the GPU so that I can increase the render distance and a bunch of cool stuff, you see how it just froze the client? And then this comes up. Can't find the name of Intel ICD OpenGL driver. This infuriated me. I kept trying to figure out what was going on. I updated all my drivers. I was like, all right, I got a laptop. It's got two graphics cards. Is it using the wrong one? Switch that, all of that stuff. And it turned out that that wasn't the issue at all. You know what the problem is? This is the problem. I clicked download 32 bits Windows version. And if you run a 64 bit Windows system, which you almost certainly do if you have a computer that was produced in the past 10 years, then Rune Light is going to work on it, except for certain parts. So what you have to do is go to Add or Remove Programs and search for Rune Light and uninstall it. This actually doesn't delete your plugins, which is kind of cool. I don't know what's up with that, but see, we uninstalled Rune Light and we're going to just keep clicking OK until this goes away, right? Now I'm going to re-download, except this time I'm going to use the 64-bit version, okay? Just going to install it. Boom, it's installed. Running for the first time. Loading. We're going to log in. And look, GPU setting is enabled. And RuneScape is running. I'm going to disable it just so that you guys can see what this setting does in case you don't know what it is. This is base RuneScape, and you see that it's very obvious the game doesn't render very far, right? We see that big blue box, and by enabling the GPU setting, boom, suddenly, the game actually renders noticeably further. And we can customize a whole bunch of things. We can customize the fog. For example, if I change the fog depth to zero, then you just see everything, right? But then I don't really like that because you get this cutoff and it's, it looks a bit weird to me. I don't like that at all. So you can change that just by setting the fog to, um, five's actually a good number. It just makes it look a bit more soft. See, just like that. And you can also change all of these other settings, but you don't really need to worry about them. The main ones to worry about are the draw distance you take it down to like 30, it goes down, right? So I, I think it's like 70 is the highest it can go. But it also doesn't load the next chunk yet. You see how it hasn't loaded this until I get close? So that's when I see the true draw distance. You don't really need to worry about any of the other settings. The most important ones are draw distance and fog depth. Thanks for watching. If you guys want, I have loads of tutorials. And if you want to learn about anything else, then leave a comment below and I'll make a tutorial just for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.